So the next one is actually from the first generation. One. Yep. Let me get its nickname because I highly fucking doubt the nickname they gave is its nickname. Yep, the nickname it has is Seven Furs. The nickname they also, gave. The last one. Huh? Yeah. What was that? The last one, just so you know, like, in case you didn't know. I suggested four for the violence because they had added the reburger guy who believed, like, yeah. 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 So, um, its actual, uh, nickname is Seven Furs, but, um, they nicknamed it in their, oh my god. They, they did put Don't what they- until after we read this, okay? Okay, I won't. Trust me, you're not gonna like it. Anyways, I'm sure I won't. That's why I want to enjoy this. First. All right. Let me have the chocolate before you throw the tar. Gotcha. Right. I really just call Doctor Lucian. Yes. Tar. Anyways. Okay. Item. SCP-801, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All iterations of SCP-801 are to be kept in a metal locker on Foundation grounds. Access to 801 for testing purposes is granted to any personnel level 2 and above. All articles of 801 should be dry cleaned after testing. No further containment procedures aside from standard security are required. Description, SCP-801 is a collection of seven articles of fur clothing found inside a hunting lodge in Adriandak Mountains. It is a trace the owner of the lodge were unsuccessful, though locals insisted that they had, not, they had seen lights and heard gunshots in the area until recently. Foundation personnel discovered no further evidence of recent occupation. SCP-801 includes one mink fur coat, one raccoon fur coat, one wolf fur coat, one squirrel fur coat, and one sable fur coat. Each coat is is of full body length, includes a hood, coats are lined with the same black silk, and none show any tag or watching instructions despite appearing to be machine assembled. Accompanying the coats are one pair of rabbit skin mittens and one pair of elk skin mit mittens. Gloves are lined in silk, shoes and leather as, as with the coats. Both appear machine assembled and bear no tags or marks of ownership. Financial was called to the site after news reports of repeated anomalous animal attacks in the area. Animals were reported to be unusually close to human dwellings and to be abnormally aggressive considering the species involved. Likewise, behavior after captivity was not consistent with the norm. That expunged. Personnel found... 801 lying on the floor of the lodge, along with numerous other sets of normal articles of clothing. Donating any article of 801 begins a rapid change in the wearer. So it begins by doubling over in pain as internal organ or internal changes start. Described variously as excruciating, burning, and like my redacted organs are liquefying and redacted, uh, that expunged. Subjects soon, within two minutes, lose both coherent speech and ability to stand upright. Subjects' vocalizations begin to become less human and more animal, as external changes become apparent according to which article is of clothing is worn. Although subjects may manage to remove the clothing before the stage, no halt in the process takes place. Characteristic is the lengthening 
lengthening of the front of the face with a snout or muscle, lengthening the arch of the foot and of the tailbone. Three minutes into the transition, surgery demonstrates signs of extreme pain and fatigue. At this stage, surgery begins prodigious vomiting, apparently shedding excess mass and tissue unneeded for the new form. What mass cannot be expelled in this manner enters the advanced state of cellular deterioration and falls away from the main body. At minute 5, the subject reassembles its new form almost entirely. Extreme hair growth begins all over the body, apparently interfering with the subject's upper dermal layers, resulting in expelling much blood from the body along with the newly grown hair. Upon completion of transition, such will be extremely fatigued but not docile, and care should be taken when change, when caging or terminating death subjects. All subjects thus far have shown extreme relentless aggression and resistance to pain. When caged and lacking exterior target, subjects will bite and scratch themselves far past the point of bleeding. One raccoon transition D class was found to have gnawed through the contents, like uh, gnawed through the contents of its own stomach, while the uh, other subject that expunged. Oh. Hmm. It is recommended all, all subjects be terminated following testing and extermination. Addendum. Testing the coats on non-human species has yielded mixed results. Placing an ordinary animal inside a coat made from its own species, i.e. placing a raccoon inside 801-2, or placing the same su subject in the same coat twice has no effect. However, when placing ordinary animals or sedated transition subjects, Such a transition for sanity subjects inside a coat made since uh, inside a coat made from a different animal results in subject transition normally for the first three minutes before sh aborting. Resultant subjects are often missing fur or limbs, or otherwise have limbs partially transitioned. In addition, one mass purge has started. Subjects may have organs redacted and are un unable to support life functions. Most subjects do not live through the this process. Addendum 2. According to transition from a, a, a subject wearing multiple articles such as 801 and 801-6 or 801-7 function similarly by, to putting one species inside a no consistent coat. However, in this case, their transition starts earlier, leaving the subject at least partially conscious. With the partial transition limbs, it is recommended that they be terminated immediately. No attempt at communication should be made. All right. So that was that SCP. That's pretty dark. I think we know what happened to the hunters. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. She's gonna hate this. What is it? That's... Yeah, by the way, I want to, now I can say it's, it's an actual nickname again, which is Seven Furs. Both nicknames they use is Only Furs and Seven Furries. Also, 
doesn't that look a lot like an adult version of the the pink magical girl? Maybe. I don't like this. For multiple reasons. Alright, we ready? I think it's safe to mark that as a four. Alright. Got to do that. Yeah. Fucking clickbait. Ready now? Yeah. Adele, you'll never guess what I saw today out past the ridge. Adele? He looked around the room, trying to spot his wife. Y you home? His ears heard a faint sound from the top of the stairs. Adele? They had decided to spend a long weekend at the hunting lodge in the Adirondack Mountains. It had been their go-to spot in earlier days, but as of late, they just hadn't had the time to make the drive. Babe, is that you? He saw something moving at the top of the stairs, but couldn't make out what it was. Uh -oh. I saw a fox out by the old path. Almost had it, too. Something spooked it, though. Adele, come down. Stop being so creepy. The figure in the shadows stepped forward, its teeth sharp and gleaming. Is that a costume? Some sort of cosplay? Cut it out, Adele. This isn't funny. The creature continued moving towards him, slowly walking down the staircase. The man look like that. Mm hmm. Did you just see a furry? Yes. And stepped back until he reached the door. Whatever you are, just stop right there. He raised the shotgun and pointed it at the creature. It stopped and stared at him intently, breathing heavily. It crouched low to the ground. Don't do it. I'm warning. Don't you do it. It tilted its head, a look of confusion. Adele, it's me, babe. Hello? Chen? Marissa? Anyone around? Perfect! Ah, uh, just the way I... Load free now. Why are we out here again? You could tell that was coming. Yeah. Gloss. Gloss. Sorry, mind was off somewhere again. What's up with you lately? You've been acting really strange since that talk with Lucius. What? Uh, uh, it's... All right, OBS, quit fucking around. You piece of shit. All right, now we can do this again. Did I misunderstand the article? Because it sounded like. They turned into the literal animals, not not furry versions of the animals. Like, sounded like after rapid changes to that that made them look more like the animals. They started throwing up all the mass they didn't need anymore. Yeah, shedding excess mass and tissue unneeded in for a new form. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're not normal raccoons or squirrels or anything, but, well, hello, but they're hey. basically raccoons and squirrels and other things. But... Okay, I didn't misread it. Okay. Well, hello there. Alright, I'm gonna stop staring at them. <laughs> All right, guess we'll go back to playing it. Yep. Or ten, jeez. 
You boys from the SPC? Close enough. Yes, we are. What is this SPC thing anyway? Oh, just a government agency. We work with Fish and Wildlife. You know, another department. <laughs> hmm. Okay, if you say so. Well, there's the body. It's a bit of a mess, but you can see the bite mark on the arm? Oh yeah, that's a big one, eh? Bear? Eh? Squirrel. That's a squirrel bite. Thought you were fish and wildlife. Oh, he, he's new. Uh, my, um, cousin's brother's daughter's kid. You, you know how it is, just doing a favor. Right. Anyway, that's a squirrel. What do you mean? Discord started cutting off a bit. Come back to here. It's a squirrel bite. Fucking Thought you were internet. fish and wildlife. Uh, well, not internet. Oh, I don't know what new. it is. Uh, my um, cousin's brother's daughter's kid. You, you know how it is. Just doing a favor. Right. Anyway, that's a squirrel bite. A big squirrel bite. I've never seen a squirrel that can do that. So what? It's like a Olympic squirrel? He's jacked up? Jacked up? This would be an eight foot tall squirrel, buddy. That's some squirrel. Darn right. Bite your head off. Where was it last spotted? Follow me. You see that tree line over there? Uh-huh. It's not a sure thing, but it's been spotted a few times there. All right. Appreciate the information, Sheriff. You need anything else from my department? No, you've been very helpful. My agent here will handle the rest. You sure you don't want some man? Not so sure that agent of yours even knows what a squirrel is. I appreciate the offer, but we'll manage. <laughs> All right then. Best of luck. The hours passed by slowly. It was almost 3 a.m. now, and they hadn't seen much of anything. Doesn't know what a squirrel is. I'll show him what a squirrel is. Relax. Just keep your eyes peeled for your squirrel yeti. Just for the record, I love squirrels. They're cute, they're furry, they're... Quiet! Look over there. In the distance, something was moving in the tree line. That's not a squirrel. It's walking on two legs. <laughs> He said squirrel. You said yeti. Oh, yeah. I got this. Chen lined up the tranquilizer gun, waiting for his shot as it moved between the trees. It stepped out of the shadows, taking the shot. The dart soared through the air, hitting the creature. It dropped to the ground. Looks like you were both right. What? That's a squirrel and a yeti. That is a furry. Thank you. So what did you find? Seems you were pretty much spot on. About? It's a furry. It is? Well, yes, quite literally. It, it's some sort of hybrid human squirrel. I don't even want to know how that happened. Jeez, no, not like that. It's obviously not natural. Oh, right. Anyway, oh God, they're gonna make the DNA, furries I'm not sound seeing evil. much else to explain how this happened. Pythia? Is that why they these modifications? Well, well, if it isn't my two favorite boys. If it isn't yes. my favorite, whatever you are. Nice. Very nice, Chen. Hope that didn't hurt your head. I'll show you a hurt head. Could you please have a look at this? It's a sample of fur we took from a recent SCP. Some kind of furry. All right. But if this is another Easter Bunny skip, we're going to be having words. They were in the lodge. The woman opened the wardrobe. Inside was typical clothing to be expected for the weather and location. Some gowns, jackets, and pants. Among them were a number of full body length furs with hoods. The lady moved them around, clearly impressed with what she was seeing. She took one of the furs out and studied it. This would be a nice fit. She slipped it on and looked at herself in the mirror, very elegant. Almost immediately, something what felt wrong. She felt a burning. Want to know why? Hmm? 
in the beginning of the story, it, they supposedly said this is a place that they've owned for years. Yeah. So why would the fur suddenly magically pop in there overnight? That makes no fucking sense. Yeah. And ripping sensation tearing through her body. The fur, it was doing something to her. The pain was too much. She blacked out. Its eyes slowly opened. Confusion and pain seared through its body. It reached a hand up to grab the wardrobe door. What was this? The creature had a vague memory of itself, but it was slipping away. As each moment passed, it became more monster and less human. Within minutes, it would be completely feral. It pulled itself up, looking at its new form in the mirror. In the distance, a door slammed shut. It's the fur jackets. The wife found them in the lodge and it turned her into that squirrel abomination. Called it. Furry. Check the inventory. Those jackets should be locked up on site waiting for sorting. Okay, you two hang tight. Give me 10 minutes. The latest fashions from Furry Tailors. I present you the fall season lineup. How many do you have there? Um, looks like three. Okay. Plus the one, which is the squirrel wife now, that matches what we just saw. Pythia, can you try to take a look at one of these? There There's might seven. be some clues as to where they came from. Seven. Of course. Let's have a look, shall we? They were in the lodge once again. Someone was placing the fur coats into the wardrobe, his hands long and thin. Do you see that? There was a what? fifth fur jacket that right. wasn't there when the wife opened the wardrobe. The man closed the wardrobe doors. Behind him, someone sat, smoking a cigar. He turned around. All what? done, sir. This oh my God. should make quite an interesting experiment. Was that who I think it was? The master, Cyrus. We need to get back oh to the lodge and find that jacket before someone else does. Thank you, Pythia. Good luck. All right, you search the second floor, and I'll search the first. Roger that. As they opened the door, they were shocked to see a figure at the top of the stairs. Hey, who are you? What are you doing in here? The figure walked out of the shadows. Oh, damn. Too late. Looks like someone found the jacket already. Chen pulled out the dart gun. Now, now. No need for that. You, you can speak? Why? Why wouldn't I? The fur jacket... You should be feral, more beast than man. Ah, so it was you that stole our little experiment. Quite naughty. Alas, we've learned a lot in such a short period of time. Such a waste, that poor creature. You, you're wearing the wolf fur. Yes, and as you can see, we have much more control over the transformation now. We? Who do you work for? Oh, I think you know by now. Cyrus. Where is he? You've learned far too much already. Chen raised his gun at the creature as it sprinted to the window. The shot rang out as he crashed through the glass. Damn it! They rushed outside, but there was nothing there but footprints going off into the forest. <sighs> Missed. Professor, we just had another run-in with Cyrus. The fur jackets came from him. Not quite. I know those fur jackets. They were locked up for a long time in the Foundation, but went missing years ago. We never did find out who made them, but I expect Cyrus nearly stole them. Perhaps improved. I don't know. All they have to do to make more coats is literally copy, paste, upon whatever and animates them. <laughs> you and Chen come back. There's nothing else to be done there for now. And you don't know if there are more of them in those hills. We can't afford Hi Hello, to hi either of you. What the fuck? Uh... SCP-801. Object class, Euclid. SCP-801 is a collection of seven articles of fur clothing found inside a hunting lodge in the Adirondack Mountains. 
Attempts to trace the owner of the lodge were unsuccessful, though locals insisted that they had seen lights and heard gunshots in the area until recently. Foundation personnel discovered no further evidence of recent occupation. 801 includes a mink fur coat, a raccoon fur coat, a wolf fur coat, a squirrel fur coat, and a sable fur coat. Each coat is of full body length and includes a hood. Coats are lined with the same black silk and none show any tag or washing instructions despite appearing to be machine assembled. Accompanying the coats are a pair of rabbit skin mittens and a pair of elk skin shoes. Donning any article of 801 begins a rapid change in the wearer. Subject begins by doubling over in pain as internal changes start, described variously as excruciating and burning. Within two minutes, subjects lose both coherent speech and the ability to stand upright. Although subjects may manage to remove the clothing before this stage, no halt in the process takes place. Three minutes into the transition, subject demonstrates signs of extreme pain and fatigue. At this stage, subject begins fuck? shedding excess mass and tissue unneeded for the new form. At minute five, the subject resembles its new form almost entirely. Extreme hair growth begins over the body, apparently interfering with the subject's upper dermal layers and resulting in expelling much blood from the body along with the newly grown hair. Upon completion of transition, subject will be extremely fatigued, but not docile, and care should be taken when caging or terminating test subjects. All iterations of 801 are to be kept in a metal locker on Foundation grounds. Don't accept gifts from strangers. Take the saying to heart and remember, it also applies to finding strange objects. You never know if it was lost or left just for you. As always, have a care and remember to oh subscribe, like, and share. Well, I do love the idea of it being like making furries. That's not what that SCP is. No. Nope. I feel like the very SCP itself was removed from its own video. As they didn't even include two of the articles of clothing until the very end. I feel like that's a four. Yeah. All right. Added gore or violence? I think that's like a two or a three. What do you think? That's three. Everyone with the sun and we're turning to them. Including me, I wouldn't last today. Aren't there some people who have like hundreds of personas? Although I only have one, I'd turn into a fucking snake. Be snake. I just realized I have one where it's me fused with the most dangerous kaiju ever created. I think that would be a mistake. That's okay, you'd still also be a person. You won't destroy the world, but you will probably destroy anyone who tries to take your pimple. <laughs> I thought something else entirely when you said that, Jerry. I don't want to know. <laughs> Unless it's something PG, I don't want to know. It's not. <laughs> Anyways. Is it PG? It, no. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Steve, it's... from the plot. Yeah. I think four. Yeah. As for why that is, use your imagination. I yeah. mean, I love the idea of people becoming furries, but that's not what the SCP is. Yeah. Only men in the video slash offensiveness. Yes. I'm sorry, it's a four. Yeah. They literally suggested that the coats would only be worn by women. <laughs> I'm sorry. Men and women alike would be drawn to fur coats. 